Hello and welcome to another Angelo Montilla graphic design tutorial. Today I'm going to be focusing on print design. As you can see on my screen here, I've designed a catalog cover for um, a furniture store. So we're going to focus more on that today. I'm going to show you how to place your main image and then build around that. But the thing with catalog design, you have to strategically place things on negative space in your image to make sure that it flows nicely, um, the prices are concise, you can see the name of the item or product, and then maybe description down below. Today we're just gonna focus on the cover, and then part two will be designing an inside page in a later tutorial. So let's get into it. As you can see here, I've set up my square guide. This is if I go to my file and document setup, You'll notice that I've just created an eight and a half by eight and a half square document. Um, it's six pages for now. I've got facing pages on. Okay, and then I'm just gonna hit okay. And if I go up to layout, margins and columns, you'll notice I've set my margins to 0 0.375. So that's not the standard 0 0.5. I've um, increased, um, increased the margin a bit. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I want to do, as you can see, I've set up my guides here. I'm going to show you how to do that in an earlier blog that I, I published last week. You might want to check that out on my website on how to set up guides in InDesign. Simply just go up to Layout, Create Guides. I'm just going to remove these guides for now. So there's no guides, and then I'm just going to, I want six rows and six columns and I want the fit guides to margins that's how I like to work so there you go first thing I want to do is bring in that image of the family in the living room okay so I'm gonna grab my rectangle frame tool or picture um, content tool and I'm gonna create a nice big image box there grab my selection tool click on the box file place or Command D, Control D on a uh, PC. And there's my image that I've licensed off um, Adobe Stock. Now the image comes in very, very big. To get around that, right click, fitting, fill frame proportionately. Um, the shortcut for that is Shift Option Command C or Shift Option Control C on a PC. And there you go, you got um, the image of the family. Now I like to line it up with these guides. Um, so I have this top handle snap to one of the guides and same with the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna bring in, I'm just gonna bring that down for a sec and let's bring in um, our masthead. So in, in my um, example that I showed earlier, the, the name of this, this uh, catalog or the, the uh, company is Rosedale. It's something that I created last summer just um, it's a fictional company. By all means, make it up, make up your own brand, and then build a catalog to see what you can come up with. So I'm gonna grab my type tool over here and create a nice big text box. And I'm just gonna write the word Rosedale, because that's the name of my company. And I'm gonna bump it up. Oops. Shift command greater than. And I want this typeface to be Butler Black. And I'm going to center it. Remember your alignment tools are up here. Right up here. So there's center. And right now this is at 86 points, so let's make it 88. Okay, so I have that there. Next thing I wanna do is create another little subhead here that illustrates or it um, um, tells you that it's the 2020, year 2020 catalog. So I'm going to do that, create another text box here. And I'm going to write 2020 product 
catalog. For this typeface, it's going to be a combination. I, so I've already used the Butler typeface. I'm going to come back with uh, Gotham Black and then the Got Gotham Font family. So you're going to notice that I'm going to use Gotham Black, Gotham Bold, Gotham Book. It's just a good uh, combination of the two. And you're going to notice that this is a very clean and simple look. Any catalog that you pick up will have a very simple uh, design to it. So let's go ahead and make this Gotham black. Again, I'm going to center it. And let's see how that looks here. Okay, that's pretty good. I just want to open up the tracking a little bit. So I'm going to highlight it. Option or Alt on a PC. And then your right arrow key will open it up. That's called tracking. Tracking is this, the uh, separation of an entire uh, sentence or um, a collection of, of words. Whereas kerning is um, putting your cursor within two separate characters and doing the same process. That's kerning. Okay. So let's see how that looks without our guides. Okay, we're getting there. I think in the example that I showed you, I had a black strip of a black arrow, or um, sorry, black bar that goes all the way across. And then we did this black in reverse white. So let's try that out. I'm going to grab my rectangle frame. And I'm just going to create another box here. That stretches all the way across like so. And I'm going to make that, just for now, I'm going to make that black. Oh, make sure that you're on your fill selection up here. So see up here? You want to make sure that you're selected on the fill. And then let's make that black. Okay. Now I want this black bar to be in the back. So let's go ahead and do that. Arrange, object arrange, send to back. Now I can make this text white. And so I want to align these. If you can see the, the, if I take my guides off here for a sec, do you notice how this, the, the uh, words there are too tight to the, um, to the bar, okay? So we're gonna fix that here. So I got my smart guides there. I know it's centrally in there. But I want, what I want is these to be uh, aligned horizontally too. So I'm going to click that, hold shift, click that. And then up here, you have some alignment uh, options. You just want to make sure that you're aligned to the selection and not the page. So I'm going to click that. And we want align vertical centers. So it, it was already aligned. So just to give you an example, if this was up like that, and I, I already have it selected, I'm going to hold shift and click that. If I click this here, you zoom in on that right here. Notice what happens with my um, with my text. There, it's now set. It's uh, vertically aligned in that black bar. Okay, so let's get out. Zoom back out. I just want to open this up just a little bit more. So it's starting to take a little bit of shape here, which is nice. So now I can bring this up and cheat that up a bit, that image, just to kind of create the equal space between here and here. That might be a little bit too much. That's better right there. So you notice I've created, just by eyeballing it, the space here and here is equal, okay? So let's go ahead and hit W and see how that looks. Good, it's starting to take shape. So um, what I wanna do is I wanna add um, and the name of this this couch. So in the example I, I mentioned to you, um, I think I just called it Roxdale Couch and then the price. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go to my um, type tool again, draw another text box, and let's call this Roxdale Couch. Like I mentioned before, I'm gonna use the Gotham font family. So let's put search Gotham and let's select Gotham book okay so I've got that selected and it's 12 point now so that looks okay 
I'm going to hold Option on my Mac, Alt on your PC, click drag down to, to make a copy, a quick copy. And now I'm gonna put the price, so $5.99. And now I want this to stand out, because when you're opening up a catalog, you, the first thing you wanna see is how much do things cost, right? So instead of book, let's make this bold. And I'm going to increase that to 14. Let's move these together a bit. How does that look there? No, I don't want that, that plant interfering, so I'm going to move it up here, maybe something like this. Maybe closer to the couch so you know they're relatable. This is relatable with that couch that they're sitting on. So that's what I meant by strategically placing things because if this was over here, then all of a sudden you don't know if this is the couch. I mean, that is the couch, but you just, you want things relatable. And so this price being close to that couch, people can connect that. I have a copy of the, the logo that I created for this. It's just the uh, PNG of it. So I'm going to, now logos can go anywhere. It can go down here, but I want to put some copy down here, but that looks pretty clean. If you just wanted that kind of look, you could even bring this down if it was that simple. If you just wanted a simple cover and did do something like that, if I take my guides off, that looks pretty clean and tight, right? But I just want to put some text down there as well. So let's just go back. I'm going to take my logo here and I'm going to place it maybe something like that or maybe up here in this corner. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to click my picture and just move them down a bit. Move the kids down. Just to separate some space between the logo and the, and the man's head over there. Okay, so you can see the logo there. Maybe increase it in size a bit. Shift, Command, drag one of the corners. And then what I like to do is maybe line it up with your margin, your R, and then move it up, something like that. So you can play around with that and see what looks good. Okay, and now I have a couple pieces of text that I had already done here. Now I'm just gonna put my guides back on and move this stuff up. What I did here was the latest collection for 2020, a description of it. This is just adding some text to your, to your page. And then I'm gonna grab this one and move it. There, make sure your smart guides are on when you're working. You see the green line there? That's basically telling me that or the top is uh, they're all aligned now and then I got this line here that I can okay smart guides again look below under the line I have it holding um, it's telling me that there's equal space that line now is equal in the center of both of those items so if I let go and hit W there you go you have your text there and um, a line separating the two and then you can just play around with I just want to show you one thing with that line I'm just gonna move this stuff down and even move that picture to this guide here and then move that down a bit that looks really good one thing with this line so line tool is done here right here in your toolbar um, click that whenever you're drawing a line hold shift and then draw the line downwards that will make it center or it will it will constrain its uh, proportion and not um, you know be crooked and so right now it's just uh, zero point on the stroke so if I click stroke here see the weight I'm gonna click one and make make it black and in this version that I have before, it's dotted. So you can click that and you have some options up here in your control panel where you can do a thick line, thick, thin, thick, thin, thick. I went with dotted.
okay? And that's a little too intense for um, if you were designing a catalog. You want it to be subtle. So what I did was I just made the weight of it um, 0 0.5, okay? And then there you go. So I'm just gonna delete this and that's how you make a dotted line like that in InDesign. So there you go. There's a, just a simple way of designing a clean uh, catalog cover uh, on a square eight and a half by eight and a half document. Um, I could retouch this a little bit. Um, I'm gonna move that over to the right a bit and I'm going to move this Roxdale couch also over to the right a bit. Just to get that cool effect with that plant, kind of like a, see how this leaf is going through? I could work on this all day and perfect it, but uh, this is how you do a simple um, cover catalog design and try it out in InDesign and see what you come up with. Um, and share it on Facebook and all your social feeds so uh, we, can, we can take a look at them. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for joining me. And part two of this, uh, this series where I'll be designing an inside page will be uh, probably sometime early next week. So take a look at that. Thanks and have a great day. Bye now.